Welcome back to another video about Rising Star 2. This is I Simulate from Dream Ahead and Aspiring Ben. If this is your first time watching my channel, I explore different simulation games and share gameplay videos of those I like. Subscribe to my channel if you're also a simulation game lover. You may be wondering why it took me so long to release another Rising Star 2 episode. To be very honest, I myself also didn't expect it to take this long. After the last episode, I thought I had entered the grinding phase of the game, and all the band needs to do was to repeat the same activities, repairing, basking, playing gigs, releasing albums, and touring. I still believe I was on the right track, and it's just a matter of time before Dream Ahead became popular and got awards, and I could make another episode. At first, things look alright, our 2007 album sold over 500,000 copies and we earned the Gold Record Award that was another plaque to hang on the wall. Our 2008 album with 65 attitude compatibility started at chart position 142, better than our 2007 album debut, though its sales soon dropped after the popular attitudes changed the following month. The band's guitarist, that's me, I simulate, was nominated for the Shady Award in January 2009. I didn't win, but that was not a surprise, things couldn't be so easy. In April 2009, all musicians in the band reached the max level 50. After this point, it felt less grindy as we didn't need to tinker or bust to gain experience points. However, there was a big, big problem. The band's popularity didn't go up despite my diligent grinding. In July 2009, Dream Ahead's popularity was 25. Remember, at the beginning of 2008, we had 28 popularity points. It had to be that I missed something. I had to adjust my strategy. Our 2008 album was similar to our 2007 album in the sense that the songs were mediocre, we shouldn't continue like this. Since our musicians were on max level and had perfect playing skill, the band should make songs which were of the best quality and highest difficulty, like this one, We Pass Potatoes. In relation to this, our manager secured us better recording contracts, which demand 3 songs of at least 60 recording quality. Compared with before, the record label allocate more marketing budget to promote the CDs. Combined it with the excellent songs we were going to make, our next album's performance, allowing room for attitude compatibility outside our control, should hopefully be better. Another change we made was to do more tours. The first tour started right after our 2009 album was released. What I observed was that the album climbed from position 180 to 130 and then 119 when we were touring. Right after that, it dropped sharply to position 267. Up until now, Dream Ahead had gigs and tours mostly in the Netherlands, Germany, Belgium and France. After our three-week tour following the album release, we started touring in cities we had never been. In October, we toured in UK and Denmark. In January 2010, we toured also in Austria and Switzerland. In February, the band will perform in Czech, Hungary and Poland for the first time. After all these, our songs gained popularity. That, in the end, contribute to the band's popularity. We are now in February 2010 in the game, and our popularity is at 32, 7 points increase from the painful 25 in July 2009. Oh, and our 2007 album sold over 1 million copies, meaning we now have a Platinum Record Award. Fingers crossed I have more good news to share with you in the next episode. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video as well as the game. Stay tuned and enjoy Rising Star 2. See you next time, take care.